Okay. So I joined HT66 setup. So I tried taking I tried taking the iCup off, but it doesn't come off, it broke at all, so I've had to get a bit creative in fixing it. But that's alright. So tips. Um, there's an o-ring here. What I've done is I've um, gone and um, overly greased it with Vaseline. So what that's going to do is it's going to um, help seal it um, against moisture so that way it helps prevent both lenses fogging up. It's also going to help stop water getting in there. But the most important thing is it allows you to put it on and off quietly without it making little scraping, mechanical scraping noises. Now this one's already been on this rifle. Um, in fact, it's set up for it already. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through. I'm just going to pull the collar off and go through the setup on it again. So once again, I've done the same thing at the back here. I've greased the. Um, I've greased the end cap here. And the battery for this is your standard. Um, it's a INR um, 18650 25R. You get them from JCAR. It's 2500 milliamp. I don't know what the original ones of these are. There's um, very few markings on them, but it'll run. F it'll run for about two and a half, three hours or so with the um, with everything turned on. So it's not too bad. Right. Okay. One tip. Um, it comes with a, um, a 10 millimeter wide um, roll of insulation tape. Don't bother with it. Go to your hardware store. Get the um, the 50 mil or the, the 50 mil wide um, roll of um, insulation tape, and then go around your scope a couple of times. And what you're wanting is you're wanting this to be. Um, Firm when you push it on, but not so much that it's um, it's rolling and pushing the um, it's damaging the tape. So, yeah. and what what you're wanting to do is uh, that way. Yeah. You're going to attach this so the screws are um, upright on the right hand side. You can it will work inverted, but then you're going to have to try and um, get your own keys to fit in underneath here somehow. So what we're going to do is we're just going to connect that in, clip it in place. And if you've done the nice trick of putting grease on it, then just wipe off the excess. Like so. Right, and this is the important thing. Um, don't go pushing it all the way forward until it stops. You need to. This is the reason why I've done this entire thing in the um, in the tape, because each each scope has a different um, a different eye relief. So um, this one, for example, the eye relief's back here. So you need to set this backwards or forwards in order to get the correct eye relief. If you go too far forward, it's exactly the same as when you look through the scope and you get the you get the image going from uh, filling the scope and then it'll just narrow down to like a little pinprick that keeps moving around. And um, the same goes if you go the other way. It's going to. Uh, it's basically the same as if you have your head, head too close to the scope. But you can try this. At, try it before you mount it, and then if you go too far forward, you'll see that it's out of focus. Uh, the image is um, not right, and if you go too far back, the image isn't right. And the same when you put this on. So I'll go through. The, I'll do. A, I'll add it in later. But um, yeah, so um, what you need to do is you need to go yeah, slide that on. Yeah, theoretically this should be a bit easier because it's already been on here. You're right. Yeah. And what you'll do is you'll slide that backwards or forwards until you get um and until you can't see the um, void spaces in the image there. So I'll show you what that looks like shortly. Tighten down those two screws there after we've lined it all up. So when we lined it all up, 